بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتع علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين My topic today is short talk about the subarachnoid hemorrhage What is subarachnoid hemorrhage? What are the causes and what are the radiological manifestations? We will discuss in a brief talk Subarachnoid hemorrhage is one of the type of extra-axial intracranial hemorrhage and it is located in the subarachnoid space. Subarachnoid space, it is the space between the arachnoid membrane and the bio matter and it is contained CSF. Etiology of the subarachnoid hemorrhage. Uh, this is here the list of the some of the causes of the subarachnoid hemorrhage. Traumatic causes, and we have spontaneous causes. It is rupture, perianeurysm, which account about 85 percent, and the other uh, the perimesencephalic hemorrhage. It account about 10. Percent, and we will see. Uh, you will see the other causes. Here, the risk factors uh, include the family history, hypertension, uh, connective tissue disease, female, and it is uh, also African race and Japanese or Finnish descent. Here to review the sum of the anatomy, as we see here, this is uh, sylvian fissure, and here this is interhemispheric fissure, and here this is the subacellular system, and here this is intraventricular pedunculus system, and here this is the ambient system, and here this is the quite system, and this is the patient with subarachnoid hemorrhage. We see hemorrhage in the ambient system here, and the quiet rigidus system, and intervidunculus system, and in the interhemispheric system, and in the subarachnoid system, interhemispheric fissure, and in the subarachnoid system, and uh, Sylvian fissure here and Sylvian fissure here. This is the classification by Hunt and his scale regarding the severity of the subarachnoid hemorrhage, and it is a grading from grade 1 to grade 5. Patient with mild headache in a grade 1 to grade 5, it is in the deep coma. And here, this is the radiological manifestation in the blood. And it is by the Fisher scale, and we will, and we have the modified Fisher scale. We will discuss in a moment. And here, this is the scale of Fisher scale, the first Fisher scale, and it is uh, in a grade one. It is thin uh, subarachnoid hemorrhage. Thin means less than one millimeter, and in the grade four, this is uh, subarachnoid hemorrhage in the interventricular system or thick subarachnoid hemorrhage. Here, this is the scale in the Fisher scale in summary, and the grade one, there is no subarachnoid hemorrhage. In the grade two, there is diffuse less than one sun millimeter subarachnoid hemorrhage and the presence about 25% of 
uh, of uh, uh, vascular spasm. And here we have a grade three and a grade four. A grade four, any thickness with interventricular hemorrhage or intercerebral hemorrhage. Here, this is the A scale again the Fisher scale and here this is the modified scale the modified scale it is in a grade one we have thin subarachnoid hemorrhage but no interventricular hemorrhage and in a grade two we have a thin subarachnoid hemorrhage plus interventricular hemorrhage and in grade three we have thick subarachnoid hemorrhage but no inter no uh, interventricular hemorrhage and in grade four we have subarachnoid hemorrhage and interventricular hemorrhage thick subarachnoid hemorrhage interventricular hemorrhage we have the this is the percentage of vasospasm and in a grade four, we have vasospasm in about 40%, in a grade three, about 33%, and a grade one, in about 24%. The difference between a uh, uh, Fisher scale and modified scale, as we see, there is uh, in a grade zero, there is no grade zero, and we have a grade one, <laughs> in Fisher scale, no subarachnoid, it is a grade one, and in the modified, it is a grade zero, and in a grade four, we have uh, in the Fisher scale, it's a grade four, it is irrespective uh, subarachnoid homage modified scale in a grade either two or subarachnoid homage with thick subarachnoid hemorrhage with no subarachnoid hemorrhage or with thick in a grade four and in a grade three there is subarachnoid hemorrhage with no interventricular hemorrhage Here we have automatic patient with uh, uh, blood in the cortical supply, in the cortical sulci in this patient in the right cerebral convexity. And here we have a blood in the left cerebrum fissure. And here we have blood in the both cerebrum fissure and in the hemispheric fissure, and here in the subcellular system, ambient system, and the quadrigeminal system, and the left cerebrum fissure more than the right one. And we have interbeduncular fissure, and here suggestion of the posterior communicating artery aneurysm. Here, this is uh, grade one, and this is a grade two modified Fisher scale, and this is a grade three, and this is a grade four of the uh, of the Fisher scale. Here. A patient with uh, subarachnoid hemorrhage, and we have mainly in the interhemispheric uh, fissure with less in the cerebrum fissure and subarachnoid system. And here we have suggestion of the anterior communicating artery aneurysm. And here this is the patient at the initial. Uh, presentation to the hospital and this is the angiogram and here this is suggestion of the uh, anterior communicating artery aneurysm here this is the follow-up patient after five days and we see the spasm here and the possible aneurysm here and the anterior communicating 
and here this is the anterior communicating in 3D uh, cerebral angiogram uh, anterior communicating aneurysm in that area. The distribution of the subarachnoid hemorrhage, uh, the pattern of subarachnoid hemorrhage distribution may give a clue to the location of the rupture aneurysm. And multiple aneurysm are seen in about 20% of patients with subarachnoid hemorrhage and subarachnoid blood may redistribute and if the patient was found here, patient uh, with uh, anterior communicating artery aneurysm, as we see here, and this is blood in the interhemispheric fissure and some interventricular hemorrhage here, and this is if the hemorrhage in the anterior hem interhemispheric fissure suggestion of the anterior communicating artery aneurysm in about 33%, as we see in this patient. Here in another patient, we have uh, uh, more blood in the anterior hemispheric fissure and the blood in the sylvian fissure and subacellular system and the uh, angiogram, it is anterior communicating artery aneurysm. Hemorrhage in the subacellular system uh, suggests a bleeding in the posterior communicating artery aneurysm. Hemorrhage in the sylvian fissure um, suggests about 20% of middle cerebral artery aneurysm. And here we see blood in the temporal uh, region and also blood here and uh, blood in the uh, sylvian fissure on the right side. And this is uh, in the CT angiogram, we have aneurysm on the right middle cerebral artery and the smaller aneurysm on the left side with non rupture Here, another patient with the blood in the uh, sylvian fissure and the uh, subacellular cystern and the right uh, ambient uh, cystern and Barenchymal hematoma due to middle cerebral artery aneurysm rupture. Perimesencephalic subarachnoid hemorrhage suggests either basilar tip aneurysm in about 5% or there is no cause and the prognosis with these patients are good if there is no cause. Here we see basilar artery aneurysm with CT scan and we see the blood in the midbrain, around the midbrain and the inferior occipital horns as we see here and there and minimal blood in the intervidunculus system and the VM fissure here and the death of the ventricle. Uh, MRI, especially the flare images, will show the hyper intensity of the subarachnoid hemorrhage and it is very sensitive for that. As we see here, this is the flare image, and we see the hyper intensity of the CSF spaces, and in the ventricular system, suggest highly suggestive or consistent with subarachnoid hemorrhage. Thank you very much for listening, and hoping to see you soon in another in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, shadu Allah ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu lak.